Welcome to another live and I hope you guys can hear me clearly right now. Please tell me if the audio is clear or not. If it is clear, we will move on with the live. If it's not, then I have nothing which I can do right now because I do not have this thing. Uh, what I'm saying, hi again. Uh, I don't have a mic at the moment because with the gimbal, the mic doesn't work. So I chose not to get a mic. Anyways, you tell me guys, can you hear me clearly? Then I'll know whether it's sorted or not. Can you hear me clearly or not? Is there any audio issue happening right now? Yeah, it's all right now. Okay, that meant that it was more of a YouTube issue because when I recorded it in a camera, there was no such issue with the sound. Anyways, what's up guys? What's happening? Today is a Saturday and this is the Volkswagen Tiguan Allspace. It's a brand freaking new car. I took delivery at 68 kilometers, missed it by one. 68 kilometers is when I took delivery of this car. Speak and span new. Everything is new in the vehicle and now I'm obviously running it in with my proper love and care as you know. I will drive the Wellfire as well. The Tiguan looks very much like the old one, but the fog lamps are not. LEDs, there are halogens and right now feeling so creepy walking here because it's so slippery. I need four motion right now. The car doesn't need it. I definitely need it for sure. So as you can see, the car looks really very nice, but looks a little bit more station wagon because of the way the rear has been done. And uh, windows are large enough, brings in airy feeling. Now, today my job is tough because I have to sit and remove all the plastic sheets on the car. There are too many plastic sheets everywhere. So all these have to be removed, of course. And once I'm able to remove all this, then only I will do a vlog. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to do it because there's just too many plastic sheets to sanitize the hell out of the vehicle here. This is so much fun removing plastic sheets of a car, but a lot of effort as well because with one hand, it becomes a little difficult, which is obviously the case. Yeah, it's not going to come out like this to take the seat up probably. And we manage that. Okay. Yeah. It's attached from below. Forget it. That's not your cup of tea. Anyways, you know what? There should have been screens there. That would have been really cool. I think the screens are actually there. Okay. Now, uh, someone's asking me, am I going to drive more vintage old cars? I'll just come to that in a minute. Let's quickly do a walk around because it's still raining. There are droplets of rain which are coming everywhere. So, I'll just show you the car quickly. Like a, like a real fast walk around. Not that fast that I also slip and fall here. But uh, Hankook tires on the vehicle, which is kind of weird and awkward. You know what? Uh, I drove this car from Pune to Mumbai and uh, it's absolutely amazing the way the car drives. It's absolutely amazing the feel, the stability. Of course, not really a handling car as such and I miss diesels for sure from VW. But still, pretty good a car. Vlog will obviously be coming soon. Soon doesn't mean next week maybe. Maybe I'll try and push it for next week also. Anyways, you see the extended length at the rear means that it kind of looks awkward. The five-seater, the five-seater Tiguan diesel was amazing. You know, our problem is that what we have, we don't respect it. What we don't have, we care for that. When the Tiguan diesel was there, it was such a fab car. I myself regret not buying it. That's how good it was. This, of course, is also good. But the last rows are of no use. Like the last row is of no use. So I'm like, what? Why? Anyways, so, you know, it's raining. Look at this. It is raining crazy, crazy, crazy. Rains will only come now when Faisal Khan wants to do a live. Else, rains don't come only. We'll do a nice cinematic shot of the car. Here we go. Beautifully. Oh, what am I doing? I also don't know. So, you know, last week, uh, not last week, this week only, I'd gone to Pune. And how this whole trip happened, let me quickly tell you this. So, first, let's sit inside. All the sheets and all have been put, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Sanitized or I don't know, it's because of a new car. Oh my God. Slipperiness. There I lost traction and you can see too much of traction loss happening. Alrighty, inside the car, finally. Here we go. What's up guys? First and foremost, uh, let me tell you the whole story of the vlogs which happened recently. So uh, there's a guy called Piyush. He is in the 10th standard, probably must be in the 9th standard when you started talking to me. So what he told me was, uh, he got in touch with me, you were talking over uh, Instagram messages, I think. That, you know, you can come to Pune, I have these, these cars. He told me he has a lot of cars and all. So I said, okay, fine, one day I'll come and drive. Now, this was pending since a long time because I keep going to Pune. Uh, Aryaman, I will try and see if I can figure out a part two of the diesel. Or maybe I'll get another diesel, take one and do a vlog on that as well. So uh, then I was like, okay, what do we do? So this, I've been in talks with him since a long time. Now, what happened was I did some vlogs, which many people might not have found as interesting. Because tech, tech, not everybody wants to know about the tech in a car. So many people were like, yeah, I put normal car vlogs, driving vlogs, and that's what people wanted to see. Now, of course, I listened to a lot of what you people say. So I was like, okay, now I need to do vlogs on cars. Now, of course, because of the lockdown situation and all, cars are not coming. Okay, you can't get the cars because there are no drivers, there are a lot of issues here and there and all. So I was like, what to do? 
good news is Jaguar Land Rover just emailed a couple of days back saying that they are going to start giving out cars with some really strict standard operating procedures in terms of um, you know how this thing has happened. Uh, what? Yeah, in terms of all the sanitization, handing over process and whatnot. Okay, but the main thing which I'm going to be talking about right now is that guys, the funny thing. Okay, I've been talking about since so long. Piyush, the guy who, whose father runs Durga Car Decor, which is a used car dealership with a plenty of number, lot of number of cars. And uh, earlier it was decided to go by then. I didn't feel the need because I didn't get time and I had too many cars to review. Now I don't have nothing to review. So I'm like, now you guys want to see car vlogs. What do I do? So I decided I'll go to Pune and do it. Now this was decided. I was like, me and Neha will go to Pune and we'll drive so, as many cars as possible. But this was last to last week or something of that sort. But because again, lockdown and all stuff happened. So I had to cancel that, unfortunately. So that didn't go through. So then I was like, what to do now? Now, MG Hector plus drive was supposed to happen in Thane. Okay, uh, Thane because there's a dealership there. But that got cancelled because the dealer's like, I'm not going to give the cars uh, because of the lockdown. Obviously, they, everyone wants to be safe. So then MG was like, you can pick it up from Andheri. Now, going to Andheri and there's no place to shoot there. So I was like, I'd rather go to Pune. So they're like, we can give you a car in Pune as well. So I'm like, that's great. So we decided we'll go to Pune. So we reached there in the morning. Now, I'm not, I've start, stopped lifestyle vlogging for a bit. So I'm just telling this to you on the live. We went to Pune and uh, Path and Zubair were with me. So I dropped them at the dealership where the car is there. And I left, I'm like, you guys shoot, I'll join you later. I went to, uh, you know, vlog on the cars. So I had selected 11 cars to vlog on. I have vlogged only on 10 of them. Okay, why I selected 11? The one which I did not vlog on was the Gypsy. Okay, because I've already done a vlog on it. But the Gypsy looks really kick-ass. This is having the military green paint. Military green paint. And of course, it's really nice. So I was like, Uspe karenge. But I was like, Pehle wood me karte jinbe nahi kya 10 vlogs I shot back to back. I was exhausted. And then I came and did the Hector Plus vlog as well. So that day was absolutely crazy. And because of the Pune dealership, with which where the service center is MG Motor Car at BU Bandari, they also have Volkswagen dealership. So service center is there. So because of the service center, I'm like, mm, this is service center. There must be any VW car lying out here. So I called VW and I'm like, is there any car I can pick up? They're like, yeah, there's a Tiguan all space. I'm like, oh, great. Let me take that away. So what happened was if I had done vlog a week before, then probably I would have also vlogged on the accent, the Hyundai accent, the old one, the original. The point here I'm trying to tell you is that I will vlog on each and every car on earth. I don't have any parameter that I will not vlog on a small car or an old car or a retro car or a vintage car. Any car which comes in my hand, I will vlog on, vlog on it for you guys. Because for me, honestly, it's of the experience of a car. It doesn't matter. It's a new car. It doesn't matter if the car is in demand. It doesn't matter at all any other parameter what matters is that i enjoy driving and i love the fun of driving and i want to give you that experience so irrespective of the age of the car is irrespective of the condition of the car i will vlog on it now when i said irrespective of the condition of the car i kind of stretched it too far because some cars did not have brakes anyways that's it so uh, which car did i vlog on i vlogged on of course the sarah i vlogged on the indigo marina these are two out of the 10 cars which i actually vlogged on which means that you're going to be getting a lot more car vlogs soon of retro cars cars which have been discontinued so obviously he has mercedes and all so i said mercedes i don't want to vlog on because mercedes i can get anyways i want to vlog on old cars like cars which i've not vlogged on yet which i really want to vlog on like four or five cars are in my list every night in my dreams i see these cars i'm like when will i get to drive these cars because i want to really give you that experience of these cars one is the hyundai accent thank you Atharva. one is the hyundai accent the old the original one one is of course the premier 118 ne that is also a car which is humongously in demand honestly from my side then i think uh I want to do a vlog on a Lancer or a Cedia. Lancer and a Cedia, Indian version. I did a Lancer vlog of the one Dubai, which is obviously the more recent generation car. I want to do a vlog on the older generation, the one which is sold in 1998, 1999, the SFXI. I want to do a vlog on that car. And obviously, I will do a vlog on the Maruti Baleno as well, the old one, the, which, is happening, which happens to be the project car. Uh, I want to do a vlog on... Uh, I've done vlog on Omni. I've done Eco. I've done... Padmani, I have done uh, Contessa as well. Maybe a Contessa with a petrol engine. I would love to do a vlog on that. I would definitely love to do a vlog on 1180 is like my top pick or a uh, original Fiat, original Fiat with the suicide doors and all. Thank you, uh, Shri Vatsa. So the point here is that I'm going to give you a vlog on each and every car. Don't worry about it. If I see a car and if I have access to it, I will definitely give you a vlog. Now, yeah, Bolero, I'm going to vlog. I'm behind Mahindra every day. I call them. I will do a vlog on uh, on the this thing also. Bolero, Verna Turbo will happen. Car is in Pune. Pune is in lockdown. So can't remove the car from there. Similarly, Seltos, Petrol, Manual is in Pune. 
uh, turbo petrol manual is in Pune, can't remove from there. But once lockdown gets over, these cars will come here, and I'll do a vlog on these cars as well. I'm pushing for the Harrier. I'm pushing for every car. Trust me, more than you guys worry about. You know, he's not doing a vlog on this car, or that car. I honestly look for the cars every day. I speak to the brands. I speak to people whom I can get the cars from every day because it's my absolute priority to do vlogs on these cars. Suzuki Kizashi also I want to do a vlog on Kizashi one one eight any and uh, one more car. I said which car did I say? I forgot. See, short term memory. But these are the cars I really want to vlog on. Anyhow, anyway, whenever I can. But let's see when that happens. Civic Manual 2020. See, there's no 2020 Civic Manual. I've done a uh, Civic. This thing obviously vlog on the Civic Diesel as well as the Civic Petrol. Yeah, I want to do a vlog on the Devu Matisse, the Devu Cielo, the Devu Nexia. Also, I want to do a vlog on an Optra. I want to do a vlog on the Corsa, the Astra. I want to do a vlog on every car, guys. So the vlogs which I'm not done yet, and if anybody has a car, please let me know. I will definitely love to do it. Tata Sierra, definitely. The good news is tomorrow's vlog is going to be on the Tata Sumo. So yeah, tomorrow's vlog is going to be on the Tata Sumo. So yes, a lot of these old car vlogs are coming, which is so exciting. Thank you, Guru. Now enough of me talking about all this and more. Uh, it's my complete quest to give you an experience of all the possible cars on earth which have been launched or released and with time hopefully we'll be able to cover almost every car which has been launched by giving one real nice experience and vlog of the vehicle. Just one small thing guys, don't feel bad if I say bad about the cars because that's my experience about it and if their cars are bad, cars are bad, just don't think, take it personally. So let's keep that aside, let's flip the camera and uh, this is the vehicle, now as you can see it says Ford Motion here. These are the dials for the off-road modes and this is actually for the drive modes. You can just click on it and then, you know, it will tell you what are the modes here. Eco, normal, sport, individual. Uh, thank you, Adnan. Uh, I would love to do a vlog on the Skoda Octavia RS. Uh, I'll try and do a vlog on the Skoda Octavia RS 230, although, uh, sorry, 245. Although media car is not coming, I still probably have access to it. So I'll do a vlog on that. Now... The dashboard is really nice, very classy. This cluster will remind you of Audi cars. So then that's the reason why Audi cars no longer have the, uh, you know, what do I call it? Exclusivity. So that's kind of cool how this whole system works. And uh, third generation Honda City also I will try and vlog on Touareg M8. New cars, so don't worry. I will try and vlog on the new cars ASAP. So I'm going to be recording something right now. That's why I'm uh, running with the camera. I have to remove the phone cover because with that I cannot do... Uh, this thing uh, I cannot use the gimbal it's just too heavy for it nice panoramic roof now panoramic roof has not become like a earlier it was like oh wow now almost every car is getting a panoramic roof the system is really nice and slick okay look at me my hand is behind now, when I get it closed now it shows these things the only problem with this system like a bigger one is a little complex somehow yeah uh, obviously you can choose the dials and you can change stuff which means that I have to change the view here yeah this view and then I can decide how I want the dials but honestly, I just love the classic dial, the classic one in which in the center you get the gear position. And on the right, you get the digital speedo as well. I will try and vlog on the 812 super fast as well. And heated seats, like nobody asked for heated, we need ventilated seats here for sure. Car is really loaded, plenty of features, very practical too, lot of papers. The paper actually says Skoda Auto, uh, Skoda Volks, Volkswagen because now they have joint ventured. And there's some really cool stuff here, you know, Think Blue Trainer. Yeah, like really cool stuff, which obviously I'll talk in the vlog. The steering reminds me of the Polo and the Venter, which is kind of disappointing, honestly. And there's a secret storage compartment here as well. Nobody thought about that. And it's actually decent size too. So guys, please understand one thing that I will try and vlog on each and every car and motorcycle, which I can get my hands on. Just be patient, just keep supporting, keep going on with your love by giving a thumbs up to the videos, liking it, subscribing to the channel, hitting that bell and also sharing it with your friends and also leave a comment because I love reading your comments. Now, the other thing is um, Suzuki Grand Vitara. I have actually vlogged on a Grand Vitara. The Grand Vitara vlog will be coming probably next week too. So a lot of interesting things coming. Uh, Toyota Serra should be restored. The only problem is the Serra is such an old car and uh, uh, such an exclusive car that it getting parts for that car can get difficult another thing i forgot to tell you that i'm the first person on earth to do a video on a toyota Sierra diesel there is no diesel i did it first on earth i could have written exclusive first in the world blah 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 rarest find and all i didn't i don't believe in doing all that blowing trumpets uh because i know that people who like cars they understand what the car is about and they're anyways going to see it um resale value of score is very poor because of usually the 
image of the car brand is not that great because of heavy service costs and all those things as well. Desire second generation, I'll try and review on that as well. AMG GT 63 S four door, I will try and blog on that as well. Old Pulsar to AMG GT Black Series looks really kick ass. Finally, Mercedes has upped the power to 730, I think, and earlier it was just stuck at 570 horsepower, which was very disappointing. 577 to be precise. But the good thing is, or rather the bad thing is that the Porsche 911 Turbo S is still faster. Although this will be much more aerodynamic efficient, but you know, it will be a close battle. How quick both these cars are around a track. And I'm putting my bets on the Porsche. Honestly, I love Mercedes Benz, but I have to put the bet on Porsche because I know they would be kick ass. So buying a used Corolla of 70k is a great idea. It could be a great project car too. So guys, thank you so much for tuning into this live session. I will uh, continue to do vlogs on some really rare cars. It will just take me time. Don't worry about that. Uh, from where can I get so should I ask where can you get the Mercedes Tommy Hilfiger shirt well I bought it from Tommy Hilfiger only uh, I think the Bandra one it's available there and uh, it's a official product so you will get it anywhere wherever the store is or probably try it online also maybe in Nintra too no I'm not meeting Neha today uh, she's having a Pani Puri party somewhere something of that sort I believe and um, Skoda Vision N will use a 1.5 litre TSI motor which is there in the T-Rock I think so a6 or 530D, obviously 530D, 5 series any day. Uh, don't you miss two wheeler vlogs? The thing is that I've not got access to two wheelers, but I did a Domino vlog and I'm going to be doing a vlog on a Harley with a custom exhaust. And then I'm going to start doing more vlogs, although it's raining, so I'm not too sure how many we can get. But I'm trying to push for the XL100 because a lot of you have been asking me about the TVS XL100 as well. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this live session. I really appreciate you guys always being there on a Saturday at 11.30, although I'm always almost late. And that is not because of me, it's because of the circumstances. Like, of course, the rain, which stops me from being on time. Jokes aside, stop playing the blame game, Faisal. Blame game, Faisal. Always you do it. Uh, Shivastava, I will try and do the Tiger 900 review too. Give me some time for all this because right now, uh, movement of vehicles isn't that fast. Breza petrol, I need to review. I know that I am aware of most of the vlogs which I need to do because I have an Excel sheet where I've written all that and more. Okay. Uh, motor beam recruitment is a pause for the moment, obviously, because of the crisis and all our offices keep shutting in between. Now, office again is closed because of the lockdown and all. So that is another problem. To this weekend is really special because there's MotoGP and there is F1 as well. Hungary, I think in Hungary, of uh, Verstappen should win. Hamilton should DNF. And uh, Carlos Sainz will be on the podium. And on that expectation, this time to win. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to watch Formula 1 and have a great day. Have a great week. Love you all.